Hi everyone, my name is Chris Harris and I'm from AmoryTutors.com and in this video we're going to look at the functional groups in particular for A2 chemistry. Um, now these are just the ones that you need to know for A2 chemistry, um, they're the additional ones that you need to know for chem A2 chemistry and um, there are of course more functional groups as well than what's on the board here um, and they're the ones that you should know from AS as well. But if you want a quick refresher on that as well, then um, there is a video that looks into the rest of the functional groups. Uh, if you just click on the link below, um, and you can have a look at them ones as well. But like I say, this video is only going to look at the additional ones at A2, the ones that are um, specifically for A2 chemistry. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through um, the additional ones here. Uh, we're going to go through the um, what they look like in terms of the molecule. Uh, we're going to go through the uh, nomenclature part as well in terms of how this should be named and a quick example um, for each one. Uh, and also there's a few exceptions um, from the ones from AS um, where you have to know where they might be named slightly differently in A2. So uh, we're going to start with this one. This is the alkyne. Uh, alkynes have a triple bond between the carbon. So you might remember from AS that you have alkanes with a single bond, alkenes with a double bond, but alkynes have a triple bond. Uh, and they end in ine, which is Y-N-E. So an example might be ethine, which is just C-H-C-H, because that triple bond in the middle um, takes up uh, any spaces that hydrogen would have done on the carbon. The next one are acid chlorides, or acyl chlorides. Um, now these, um, these are incredibly reactive molecules, actually, um, and they look like this here, with a carbon, with a double bond oxygen, and a chlorine. Um, their reactivity is pretty strong, like I say, uh, and the name of it is, is ends in oil chloride. So that's the uh, suffix that you put at the end of it. So, for example, um, you might have something like ethanol chloride, um, which would be the two carbons with the uh, chlorine on there. And it resembles something similar to a carboxylic acid as well, except instead, except instead of the OH group, you have a Cl instead. Uh, the next type of group is amides. Now, amides are again resemble something similar to a carboxylic acid, uh, and uh, except instead of the OH, we have an NH2 on the bottom. Um, so we call them amides. And the best way, probably, to remember this is that actually um, amides has the D in there, or the ID, um, as if it's come from a carboxylic acid. Um, so it kind of resembles, it's like a, a a, a part of a carboxylic acid, so it looks like it's come from it. And the ending ends in amide, which is dead easy. So we just call that, for example, you might have two carbons before there, so you might have a carbon there and a carbon there. So we call that ethan amide. So just put the word amide in the end, really easy. And the next one is similar. Now these are called amines, and these are the two that I don't want you to try, that I don't want you to get mixed up. Uh, amines still have an NH2 group like amides except amines have an NH2 group on a carbon, and there is no carbonyl group attached to it as well. Uh, and this is called a carbonyl group. A C double bond O is a carbonyl group. So amines just add uh, onto the end of the carbon. They add, the ending is amine, a bit like amide, it just ends with amine, um, except um, this time you put ethyl amide. So you end your, your, um, your core structure, which is your two carbons here, so that's the ethan bit, uh, except you put ethyl amine in there instead, so it's not ethanamine. And, and, and you can, the next one is uh, nitriles. Uh, nitriles have this um, carbon triple bond N on the end of them, and um, these are particularly useful um, in, useful to know specifically for A2 chemistry. So um, the ending ends in nitrile, so for example, you might have propane nitrile, they're dead easy to name, you just literally name the alkane and then put nitrile on the end, so there's no difference there. Uh, and the last one are arenes. Now, arenes are aromatic uh, compounds. You do need to know um, about aromaticity in uh, A2 chemistry, and about aromatic compounds and how they react. Um, and aromatics have this um, six carbons and six hydrogens and a cyclic um, structure like this. They are quite unique in terms of how they react, as you'll, as you'll find out when you do um, benzene, benzene topic. Um, it ends in benzene, so you might have something like methyl benzene, where you have a benzene with a methyl group hanging off the top of it, uh, and we literally just put benzene at the end of it. Now, um, there are some exceptions here, um, and these are ones, um, particularly alcohols, where you would have, you should have known this from AS chemistry as well. Um, normally, you were told, well, you were told that um, AS that normally alcohols, well, alcohols do end in all, so you might have ethanol, propanol, etc. Um, now. 
these ones, you can actually have prefixes as well, depending for very certain molecules. And you'll see when you do the O2 course which ones they are. But um, you might have, um, you can actually represent the OH bit from an alcohol as hydroxy. Um, so an example could be hydroxy nitriles. So if you've got a molecule with a nitrile in there, you don't use alcohol, you use hydroxy instead. So you don't end it in all, you use hydroxy. So again, you'll come to, uh, when, you, when you actually do them, that topic, um, you'll see where that fits in. And the other one as well is amines. Now, normally, like we said up here, amines just end in amines, so you might have ethyl amine or propyl amine. Um, but you can have um, a situation where you have to use the words um, as a prefix instead, and we call it amino, um, and that is when you have an amine and a carboxylic acid in the same molecule, um, and basically the carboxylic acid will take the priority, and that goes at the end of your molecule, uh, and then your amines, that leaves your amine to actually be a prefix, so we call that amino. So a good example of that would be amino acids, which are obviously the building blocks of proteins in your body. So um, you would use the word amino when we bond it with a carboxylic acid instead. So as long as you can remember these two here, they're very specific examples. And when you do them uh, in your topics, um, when you do about uh, nitriles, hydroxy nitriles and amino acids, then you'll see them there as well. But it's just to make you aware of them so you know what you're looking for. Um, but that's it. Like I say, that's just the additional ones at A2. Um, there are um, more of them for the ones that you need to know at AS, but for this video I assume that you know them already. Um, so that's it. Bye.